Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle, and in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet the Rocket Firework applique. This pattern is very quick to make and requires very little yarn. The difficulty of the pattern is intermediate, so I would recommend this to an advanced beginner. To crochet the Rocket Firework applique, I'm using worsted weight yarn in three colors red, blue, and white. You would also need very tiny amount of yarn in yellow to attach the fire and a tan yarn to attach the stick if you do not have this you can always replace this with white yarn and crochet the stick to embroider the stars you would need white thread and needle you can use white yarn instead of this as well you would also need a 3.75 mm crochet hook scissors and yarn needle the details of these materials are in the description box below now let us crochet the body of our firecracker this is for the blue body so i'm taking my blue yarn here i'll start off with a slip knot to do a slip knot i'm going to wrap the yarn around my two fingers like this and cross it over at the point where both the yarn meets next i'm going to pinch here carefully take my fingers out insert my hook through this loop yarn over and bring a loop and i'm going to tighten this up that is i just pull the tail to tighten this up and there we have formed our slip knot there are other different ways to do a slip knot as well you can do any method you prefer now i will do chain nine here to do a chain i'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook so this is our first chain i'm going to do eight more chains here So once when we have our nine chains let's start working on our rows so in the second chain from the hook so that the loop on the hook is not to be counted as a chain so this one is the first chain from the hook and this is the second chain from the hook here i will do a single crochet to do a single crochet i'll be inserting my hook inside the second chain over here next i'm going to yarn over and bring up a loop so now I'll have a total of two loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through both the loops. So this stitch is called as the single crochet. Now we'll have seven chains remaining here. I will do one single crochet in each of the seven chains. Row one will have a total of eight single crochet. when we have completed row one our project will look like this now let's work on row two for row two i will do chain one and i will turn my project over so now i'll be working on the stitches over here so in my very first stitch i will do one single crochet and i will do a single crochet across in the next seven stitches this row will also have a total of eight single crochet the starting chain one is not to be counted as a stitch here So this is how a project would look after row 2. Now let's work on row 3. For row 3 also I'll be repeating the row 2 pattern. That is chain 1, turn, I will do 1 single crochet in each stitch over here. This row will also have a total of 8 single crochet. So once when we've completed three rows, we can leave a long tail and finish it off over here. To finish it off, I'm going to trim the tail. Next, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook all the way through and tighten this up. So this is the body of our firecracker in blue. Now let us crochet the body for the firecracker. 
this time i'll be using two colors i'll be following the same pattern as that of the body of the blue firecracker but we'll be changing colors so i'll show you how to change colors here so first i'm gonna take my red yarn i'll do a slip knot followed by chain nine And a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and a single crochet in the remaining seven chains so this row one will have a total of eight single crochet now i'm at the last single crochet over here it is here where i would change my color to white so let me show you how to do it so i would start the single crochet like how i would normally do i'll be inserting my hook in the chain yarn over and bring up a loop i'll have two loops on my hook instead of yarning over and finishing it with this color i'll be grabbing my new color yarn here it is white i will leave a tail hold the yarn here I'll yarn over and pull through so I'll be finishing the single crochet stitch with a new color yarn so this is how I would change my colors over here so now let's start working on row 2 I will do chain 1 turn my work over and I will do one single crochet in each stitch across this row will also have a total of 8 single crochet And once again when I'm at the last stitch over here I'll be changing my color back to red so I'll be taking my red yarn leave a tail hold it here next I'm going to yarn over and complete this single crochet stitch so once when you've done that you can leave a trail and trim off your white yarn now you can work your row 3 stitch like you would normally do that is chain 1 turn followed by one single crochet in every stitch once when we complete all eight single crochet we can finish it off over here and we can weave all these tails in later So this is the body for our red and white firecracker so here is the body for our firecracker now let us crochet the fuse so let me show you how to crochet the fuse so first i'm taking my blue body here in the second row i'll be attaching the red yarn to attach the red yarn i'm going to take my yarn i'm going to insert my hook inside the corner stitch of row two you can attach it in either side any side that you prefer i'm gonna leave a tail hold my yarn over here next i'm going to yarn over and pull through the stitch and i will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook so this is how i'll be attaching my yarn over here now i would do chain three And I'll finish it off over here. We have to weave the tail in later as well. In the same manner, for this red, white and red body, I'll be taking the blue color yarn. I'll be attaching it to the white stitches over here. Next, I will do chain 3 and finish it off over here. Now we can weave in all these tails before we move on to the next step. To weave in the tail, I'm going to thread one of the tail in the yarn needle, turn my project to the wrong side. You can choose any side as the wrong side. And I'm going to run the needle through the loops over here. You can work up to down, zigzag, side to side in any manner that you would prefer. 
so once when you weaved it in one direction you can choose to weave it in in an other direction you can choose the same row as well or different rows it's up to you every time when you weave it in make sure to stretch out the piece so that our project retains its shape so once when you think you've weaved in enough you can stretch it out take the needle out and trim it off over here So make sure to weave in all the other tails, even the tails for the fuse. This is how a project would look after we weave in the tails. Now let us add fire to the end of the fuse. To do so, I'm taking yellow yarn here. I'm taking three strips of about four inches in length each. Next, I'm gonna fold it in half and attach it to the tip of the fuse like how I would attach a fringe. To do so, I'm gonna fold it in half, insert my hook in the top stitch over here. Next, I'm going to grab all the folded loops and pull through here. So once when I have the loops over here, I'm going to grab all the tails. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the tails through the three loops over here. You can choose to attach a fringe one by one or you can attach it like how I did. Once when you have all the strands over here, make sure to pull tight. We have added fire to our fuse. You can choose to trim it off if you want an even length or I would prefer to leave it uneven like this to give a more natural finish. Same way, attach fire to the tip of the other firecracker as well. Here I have attached two strands. You can choose to attach either two strands or three strands depending on how you would like the flame to be. For finishing of this firecracker, you can either choose to leave this firecracker as such or you could embroider white stars in them. To embroider white stars, you can either use white yarn and embroider them or you can use a white thread and needle and embroider the stars. So there I have embroidered one star. I'll embroider in two more spots before I finish it up. Now let us attach stick to our rocket firework. To attach stick, you can either use tan yarn or white yarn, depending on what you have in hand, and attach the yarn to one end of the bottom of our firework like this. Next, I will do chain eight. finish it off. You can weave the tails in later. Now let us crochet the head for our rocket firework. For the red and white body I'm using a blue yarn and for the blue body I'm using a red yarn for the head of the rocket. So before we attach the yarn over here I will do a slip knot followed by chain one in the blue yarn. And then I will attach this yarn to the top of our firework. Make sure the right side is facing you and attach it. So now I will do three slip stitch across the top of our body over here. This is one, two, three, and then I will do chain two. And I will turn my work over. Now let's work on row two for our head. So in the second chain from the hook, I will do one single crochet. And I will do one single crochet across the three slip stitches over here.
and I will do one single crochet in the chain one that we did at the beginning of our row one. So this is the wrong side of the project and this is the right side of our project. So now in row two we would have done a total of five single crochet one on this chain three on the slip stitch and one on this chain now let's work on row three for row three i will do chain one i will turn my work over this chain one does not count as a stitch now i will skip the same stitch and the next stitch and i will do a single crochet in the next stitch and in the next two stitches i will be doing a single crochet two together or single crochet decrease to do a single crochet decrease i'm going to insert my hook inside the next stitch yarn over and bring up a loop instead of finishing this stitch i'm going to insert my hook inside the next stitch yarn over and bring up a loop so now i have a total of three loops on the hook we have worked across two loops on the bottom i'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once so this stitch is called as the single crochet together so row three will have a total of two stitches the single crochet and the single crochet two together so now for the last row over here for row four i will do chain one turn my work over i will skip the same stitch over here and we have two stitches here i will do a single crochet two together and we can finish it off over here now we can weave these two tails in in the same manner crochet with red color yarn for the other firecracker this is how our crochet rocket firework applique would look after weaving in all the ends you can steam iron or block this project if you would prefer that i hope you enjoy crocheting this along with me please show your support by subscribing to my channel thank you for watching